All right, Jonathan at Colfax Math. Today I'm going to work in Google SketchUp for Schools right here, doing assignment number four, a uh, four by two Lego. And what I want to do with this, well, I have the description of the whole project in the description of the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new. This whole thing's in millimeters. So I'm going to click millimeters, and that way I don't have to enter my units. I also want to title it right away and save it in my drive. I would title it first and last name, assignment number, um, what period and block you're in, and then save it in a good place. It's a Lego brick, so you could imagine compared to this guy right here, it's a teeny little thing. I'm going to zoom way in, and I'm going to start by creating a rectangle. I'm going to click in the lower left corner. I'm drawing in Y and X and drawing it up. And I'm going to enter in the measurements 32. And you can see them in the lower right-hand corner there, comma 16. I could add millimeters on there or not because I selected a millimeter template. So I don't have to include the units because I use that template. OK, now that I've drawn in the XY plane, I'm going to extrude up in the Z plane. There's the extrusion button. I'm going to Grab this surface, it turns polka dotted. I draw it up eight millimeters and I hit enter. Now I'm gonna hit escape out of that and then the arrow key, and then I'm gonna zoom in on that. Wherever I use, wherever I put the mouse is the spot I'm zooming in on. So I feel like that guy's about to step on my little Lego block. So I'm gonna click on him and delete the guy. Then down here, let's see, down here is my orbit and this is a pan. So I'm just going to grab this and put it in the center of my drawing window. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude a little box down in the top, put my name on top of that, and that's going to be my watermark. So I'm going to offset that rectangle on top. Let me turn it a little bit. So offset is under this. Here's the offset. I'm going to click on that, and I want to offset it in two millimeters, enter. Uh, and then I'm going to use the push-pull to tool to scroll or pull it down one millimeter. And there's my offset. Turn it around a little bit with the orbit, holding the roller mouse down. Over to the rectangle key is my text. I'm going to type in uh, Colfax Math. You're going to type in your own name. It's going to be a watermark, so you, you know it looks like individual work. I think I'll make it three millimeters high with zero extrusion. So I don't want it to extrude out and just snap it on the bottom of that pocket there. Escape will take me out of that operation. And then now what I want to do is I want to erase that whole pocket. So I'm going to hit my eraser. I'm going to click out all of these parts. I might have to orbit around a little bit. Make sure I have them all, that face. And then I think, see I want to go over, it turns blue, and then I erase it. Um, see if I still have my name inside that block there. There's one more thing. Um, I'm going to go over to my search tool. I'm going to type in x-ray. Actually, it'll come up, it'll toggle it in. And I can see I have my name inside of that box. Um, before I turn this off, though, what I am going to do is keep on my eraser tool and erase that line. And that line there. Go back here to x-ray and go back to my solid. And I'll turn it off. OK. So now I'm going to create what are called construction lines. And you're not going to use a line tool. You're actually going to use a tape measure here to create these construction lines. And we're going to pull lines across here. And that's how we're going to center the dots that come up on a Lego block out. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to divide this vertical line here. So I'm going to click on it, see how it turns blue. Um, and then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to divide, and then I'm going to type in 8. You can see, oh, did it no, I typed in 4 because I was moving my mouse around. So I want to type in 8. 
and hit enter. Now this, I don't think I did that correctly. So I'm going to hit escape out, control Z, go back to this line with my selection tool, right click, divide. I'm going to hit eight and then enter. And now it's split into eight parts. I'm going to do the same thing on this line, right click, divide, eight, enter. Uh, on this line, right click, divide. I'm going to divide it into four parts. Enter, even though I'm not going to use them all. I'm going to divide this one into four parts as well. Now that I've done that, I'm going to create my construction lines using this tape measure. And then I want to grab the endpoint. See how it just said midpoint there? I don't want the midpoint. I want to go right on the endpoint. See so when I get close to it, snap right on the endpoint there. And then that's a midpoint, endpoint, to endpoint. So I think I have them all there. Then I'm going to create my construction lines this way. Make sure I'm not clicking on the midpoint, but the actual endpoint. Endpoint. There's another one here. I'll put it in there. I'm not going to use this line now. I don't really have to put this one in. But I want my equal spacing. So those are construction lines. Now that I have all those done, um, let's see. I'm going to put eight circles centered on the outside crosses with the radius of 2.5 millimeters. So over here, I'm going to go to a circle, and I'm going to click the circle here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to click every other one. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to draw that circle out. I'm going to type in 2.5, enter, another circle here. being over and this last one on this why it's called a four by two Lego so there's a little Lego blocks there you can get a pair of dial caliper to reverse engineer this whole Lego and get your own dimensions Hopefully, I'd be pretty close to this. Um, we should be able to take this file if we wanted to and take it over to a 3D printer and print it out uh, and have a Lego block. So those are all of my little snap together plugs on the top of the Lego. I'm going to hit Escape out of that tool over to my selection. And then I'm actually going to select my construction lines now and delete them. So it turned blue. I delete it. I use these lines to make sure I was centered. I can get rid of them. And then I'm going to extrude those parts up. Hmm. Oh, I can't select those. OK, and then I'm going to the extrusion tool. I want to extrude this circle, and I want to pull these things up two millimeters, so two, enter, two. There are a lot of more efficient ways to do it than this. Uh, if you got better ways to do any of these operations, please put them in the comments below. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to put the text logo on each side. The text height is 1.2 with an extrusion of 0.1. Again, that text was in the create box here. I'm going to type in there Lego. You put your own name in there as well, right below it if you want. 
the text height is 1.2 with an extrusion of 0.1. There it is. It'll kind of snap onto the face there. Second, let me just roll down, make sure I got it right. Yeah, so that looks good. Um, I'll hit escape out of that, and then I'll hit my select tool. Oh, I just deselected it. I'm going to select it, then I'm going to use move right here. I'm going to move it. I'm going to hold the control button down and move it over here. Hold the control button down. I could probably do this as an array a little more efficiently. Okay. So there we go. There's a Lego. I'm not quite done yet. I got the inside to make on the Lego as well. So what I want to do is use the orbit tool and turn the Lego over and I'm going to hollow out it and then put these reverse pegs so I could stack the Legos together. So I'm going to offset the rectangle 1.5. So offset is here. I'm going to offset that 1.5. Then I'm going to extrude it six millimeters up. So I push pull tool up six, enter. Then I'm going to, the pocket I created, I'm going to split the lines into force and the short lines into halves. So let me spin this over a little more. So, like I did on top, I'm going to create construction lines again. So, with my selection tool, I want to Click on this line, right click, divide into two segments. This one I'm going to right click, divide into two segments. This one here, whoops, I'm going to right click, divide into four segments. I'm going to have to orbit over a little bit. And then right here, Right click, divide four segments. This video is taking a little longer than the others. All right, back to the tape measure, and I'm going to draw my construction lines. That's a midpoint. Don't want that. There's an endpoint to an endpoint. Then I'll draw a construction line lengthwise. And then now that I have these construction lines drawn, I'm going to hit escape, my selection tool. Um, in the new pocket, I did that. I want to create three circles with a radius of three millimeters. So back to circle, I'm going to click on that point of intersection. It's a three millimeter radius. There's those three circles over to extrusion. I'm going to click on this and draw it out, back out the six millimeters. And then let me make sure I got this thing drawn correctly. So that looks good. They're actually not cylinders, but they're going to be like little pipes. So after I do that, I'm going to create Offset each circle 0.5 millimeters and extrude back in. So I'm back to the offset button. I'm going to offset this in 0.5. Oops, I don't know what I did there. So let me go back to offset. Click on that, bring it in 0.5. Back to extrusion, and I'm going to grab this and pull it back in the six millimeters. Oh, 
think that's it. And then I want to make sure I go back to my selection tool. I'm going to delete all my construction lines. I don't want those in there. And I also want to put in um, all my dimensioning lines on there. And then dimensions are the tape measure go tape measure. That's my dimensioning line. You want to put all of them in. You want as many dimensions as you can put in so that um, anybody could build it off your dimensions. And then before you turn it in, you want to go back here, type in x-ray again, turn on the x-ray feature, and then submit this here. So it has your name as a watermark in the center of it like that. And I could see all of it. So that's the project right there. Not an easy one, but it does build a lot of skills. A few more exercises or a few more assignments. You should be designing your own projects pretty easily in SketchUp for Schools. Thanks for watching. Love to hear your comments below if you have better ways of doing any of these operations. Um, okay, well, thank you.